What's up guys, this is Ian here, coach of your Ladner Lantern, bringing you guys our week 12 team builder, taking on Dom and his Cleveland S Cavaliers. Another game in the rivalry, this will be our fifth matchup of all time. Uh, I think we probably won't count this one, if I'm being honest, towards the rivalry. Uh, both of us are locked into playoffs, and so we're both going to be memeing pretty hard. Um, I have no idea the extent of his memes, but I know that I'm going to be memeing ridiculously hard because I'm locked into uh, first in my conference. Uh, so there's nothing that I have to play for. I've already secured the best seed that I can in playoffs, or at least the highest seed that I can in playoffs. And so I'm bringing a ridiculous amount of memes. But let's talk about his team. He has Zygar 10%, which is a Z user, Registeel, Lorantis, Pyroar, Lolan Golem, Arbok, Masharna, all Z users. Vaporeon, Togetic, Pilliswine, and Hip on top. Priority options in Zydago with Extreme Speed, Arbok with Sucker Punch, Pilliswine with Ice Shard, Hip on top with Mock Punch, Sucker Punch, and Fake Out. Hazard setting in Registeel with Rocks, Alolan Golem with Rocks, and Pilliswine with Rocks. Removal options in Lorantis with Defog, uh, Togetic with Defog, and Hip on top with Rapid Spin. And four times weaknesses in Zydago to Ice and Alolan Golem to Ground. In terms of his team, um, who knows? It's memes, right? But if this were a serious match, I wouldn't be expecting Musharna, Togetic, or Hitmontop. I think Musharna is straight up setup fodder for Devotion. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It might not be. Who knows? Uh, Darmanitan looks really scary against him, uh, so he might bring Hitmontop. And Togetic, I just don't think that he would have the room to bring Togetic, if I'm being honest. Just my opinion, though. Um, so let's talk about what I'm bringing then. We are bringing a nifty little Shelmet set here. It's a kind of a dick move to bring like a Spidef trapping set, but uh, it's Spidef with Acid Armor, so I'm boosting my defense with uh, through Acid Armor, obviously, and then I can trap things with Infestation and Toxic them to death. If your name is Registeel, then I can Infestation you, and that's about it. Um, if he wants to bring Heal Bell on Vaporeon or Togetic, then I sit in on them for days and I blow through their heal bells. So um, honestly, this is really strong. Oh, Arbok also can't get toxic, but Infestation is going to wear it down. And hopefully I'm not set up fodder because of acid armor. He shouldn't be able to kill me um, if I get to plus six plus a Violate. He has very poor knockoff users on his team. I believe it's Lorantis and potentially Pilliswine. I'm actually not sure if Pilliswine gets knockoff. I know Mamo does. I'm not sure about Pilliswine. Um, so I think those are the knockoff users. I, you can't convince me that Arbok gets knockoff. It doesn't have hands. You cannot convince me that it gets knockoff. So that's going to be a little boy Shelmet, which is coming to its second game of the season. It was really kind of underwhelming most of the matches, although I thought that spike stacking would kind of put in work. We're bringing Focus Ash, Your Force, uh, Rampardos with Endeavor, Fire Blast, Earthquake, and Ice Beam. Um, mixed attacking with Max Attack and Max Special Attack. Uh, mild actually because I didn't want to run a minus attack nature and I need the speed still to outrun things like Registeel. Um, this is probably going to be my lead honestly. If anything takes me down low then I can just endeavor it um, and Fire Blast kills Registeel hopefully if he's not invested. Uh, otherwise Earthquake will. Ice Beam is there for the Zydago if he opts to lead with Zydog. Um, also with Focus Sash, I'm a decent revenge killer to Zydago, because he'll have to break my Sash, and then hopefully I can kill it that turn. Palisand, bring a Ghost EMZ Palisand. I was a little bit too scared of Musharna coming. Uh, I was originally running Ground EMZ, but Ghost EMZ hits everything anyways that I needed to, because Earth Power is just going to hit the Pyroar, which is his only other... It's his only Ghost DMZ switch in, if I'm being real. Uh, Shore Up and Rock Polish, so we're a fast boy Palisand with the Rock Polish there. I think that's kind of fun. Running enough speed on the Palisand to outrun Zygarde 10% after Rock Polish, which is the fastest mod on his team. It also naturally outspeeds my entire team running Adamant, so I didn't have to creep that high. But uh, I don't know if he's going to be that particular with his EVs when he's, um, when he's memeing it out. So uh, just got the recovery there with Shore Up and then Shadow Ball Earth Powers. Both fairly uh fairly obvious if i'm if i'm saying so uh next up is machamp bring specs no guard machamp which is pretty flames i mean it's got a horrible special attack stat but uh no guard plus focus blast is pretty busted and also with fire blast pretty busted hidden power ice is there for the zydago although i probably won't need it um 
vacuum wave is also their nice priority to be honest i didn't even know machamp got vacuum wave i'm like 90 percent sure dom doesn't know machamp gets vacuum wave so this could be a really cool way to revenge kill like a weakness policy rock polish alolan golem which i'm kind of predicting is coming just fully specially offensive and i don't really need the speed Dermanitan, I'm bringing a Zen mode. Dermanitan with Life Orb. Of course I'm bringing Zen mode. It's a meme match, guys. There's no way I wouldn't bring Zen mode. Um, Dermanitan and Zydago are actually competing for top kills in the league at the moment. I'm recording this after my Week 11 match against Hayden and the Pittsburgh Piplops, but I have no clue how Dom's last matchup of the season is going to go. So uh, at the moment, Dermanitan is sitting with 17 kills. Excuse me. <sighs> 17 kills and Zydago has 19 and they're both way at the top of the kill leaderboard um, so I'm hoping Zenmo Derm can do a lot of work and I forgot to change this but Magic mentioned it got Psychic so we're going to change that to Psychic from Extra Sensory and I'll update that in my front office when I get a chance. Psychic Flamethrower, Flame Charge, and Grass Knot. Grass Knot is only there for the Vaporeon realistically. That's basically the only thing that's worthwhile against. Uh, otherwise, Psychic plus Flamethrower should do a lot. Uh, and actually, Grass Knot should do a bit, uh, a big chunk to the Pillow one as well. Um, I'm running 248 speed modest, which means in Zen mode form. Um, I actually get slower in Zen mode form. So I'm outspeeding Alolan Golem and Lorantis in Zen mode form with this investment. Excuse me. Dermanitan loses 40 base speed and adds it to the special attack. Uh, and then the defenses are inverted, taking away all the extra points from attack. I'm pretty sure attack drops to 30. And so, like, defense and special defense both get a solid 60 points added to them. They're both, like, 105. Um, so it takes, like, 120 points from attack, moves them to the defenses, swaps the special attack. Uh, so the special attack's 140, I think. Um, or, sorry, adds the, uh, the speed reduction to the special attack, maybe. So it might be... Base 70 special attack? I can't remember now. I I'm honestly not even sure anymore. Uh, I know that that's what Zen Mode is, though. It's a special attacker, so that's what we're bringing. And then last but not least, shoutouts to Jay for this set on the Porygon 2. I actually thought of the Silk Scarf myself, but uh, this is a really cool set. Sharpen raises the attack of, uh, of Porygon, and then I'm running Last Resort. So I can just Sharpen into Last Resort, and I'm a plus one Silk Scarf Porygon 2. Uh, the only thing walling this is Registeel, if I'm being completely honest. He doesn't have a Ghost type, so uh, he can't wall it that way. Um, and yeah, it's honestly, it's going to dent some stuff. Hopefully it'll dent some stuff for... Rock Polish Palisand to clean up, because <laughs> that's like the fastest thing on my team. I'm bringing a really slow team. Uh, P2 is outspeeding No Speed Vaporeon with this investment, and I should be able to do a lot of work there. So that's going to be the team for week 12, guys. Uh, keep cheering for me. I'm obviously in playoffs, so uh, you definitely be seeing at least one more match for Waylord after this. Uh, and enjoy the memes. Honestly, that's all it really comes down to in week 12 is just enjoy the memes. So. I uh, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you guys for the match.